guys we are at City of Hope but at a different location for a pain appointment we're here right on time right on time so let's go so far I'm feeling nauseous but I took some nausea medicine let's see if it helps oh. <laughs> we are out of my pain appointment we thought, I thought we were recording but we weren't you wasted all I was that, just talking to the camera all that footage um, we were out of my pain appointment it went well we went to that to figure out my drowsiness in the daytime as well as to figure out um, my so I have a baseline medication and an as needed medication do we up the as needed or do we up the baseline we decided to up the baseline medication and hopefully that'll lower the as needed medication but we'll see it as we go and then um, so that's all figured out easy peasy and we got my oxygen figured out I have it here with me in a tank I feel like pros I today I can't lift it so I can't show you are we pros I bought a, a key for the oxygen tank so you have to use a special tool to open it that attaches to my car keys so I have it everywhere I go we got a full tank we're running on two liters we got it in the wheelchair perfectly got it in the appointment I didn't step on it as much as last time so we're we're getting the hang of it yeah mm, we're getting better I walked away from it twice where I tugged it a little yes so I'm not quite getting better with That's it all right you're getting that hopefully I will my voice is really raspy today I'm really thirsty today mm. um, part of the game I guess yeah it's part of the game I think because your lung is so hurt we had a good appointment though he's a very very nice doctor mm -hmm. just wanted to make sure that your baseline pain and all that good stuff is taken which care my of. pain has increased my baseline pain level has increased increased since being discharged from the hospital and I think it's because I'm doing more even though I'm still being treated as a patient he's taking care of me and everything um, I'm still doing more than when I was in the hospital so I'm just struggling a little bit yeah. ow it hurts bone cancer and draining and it all hurts yeah Sometimes I think I just need to say it. Cancer hurts. Yeah. Oh. Um, side note, <clears throat> I had therapy yesterday. Oh yeah, tell us about your therapy. And it went really well. You never really got to tell me much about it. No, it was much needed. But my therapist said that Jenny and I need to start wearing shirts around that say resilient on it because we're pretty darn resilient. <laughs> no matter what gets thrown at us, we just keep going. <laughs> so I want to do that. Well, Ashley has a cricket. Yeah. She already has a list of shirts she needs to make me. She's making me a drainer shirt because I'm your drainer. She's making me now a resilient shirt. But yeah, therapy was good. Just talked about- I think about she's making Winnie a shirt for something. Uh, maybe. Maybe for birthday. I don't know. But uh, we're Ash, am I make are you making Winnie a shirt for something? Or Ellis? I don't know. Like Let so. me know, Ash. Okay, sorry. What? We purchased a, a concentrator yesterday, a portable concentrator. Yes, he did. He did? Thank um, you. Which should come um, tomorrow. That'll make my oxygen out of the house easier. Yep. Just got the little portable. A lot of you left in the comments to look into that. So, um, your sister and I looked into it and found it. I think your sister found it. And then I went and did that. So that should and be really nice. Um, so we're getting that figured out. A lot of you said we can leave the tanks in the car. And I'm so nervous about that. The reason I'm so nervous is we live in Southern California where we have a lot of heat. 
and well, it was just fine in the car right now. I don't <laughs> but um, we are navigating our new normal pretty darn well, I think. How, how else? Anything else with therapy? You want to tell us or share with us? Oh, I just opened up to her a lot about where our situation is. I opened up a lot about the kids and I think that they're darn strong and I we had a big moment the therapist and I that one of my fears with this cancer life is that they're gonna be scarred and you know everything that that they've seen and everything that they're having to endure you know along with you and I and then I her and I turned it to I think they're gonna be not that they already are, but they're going to be phenomenal human beings because of all this. Super strong, super compassionate people. They already are, but I think they're going to come out of this this journey so well-rounded and strong. That's how we ended the therapy session. Hmm. That's nice. Yeah, it was very nice, though. I'm glad you had therapy again. Yeah. Did it help? It did. My therapist probably said a total of like 20 words. I was just talking the whole time. She just kept, and we cried together. Yeah, you know? it's good nice. stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm happy you had it again. I'm glad it helped. Oogie Boogie Bash. He's in line for Oogie Boogie Bash. If anybody knows what that is, that's a Disney after hours event for Halloween where the kids and adults can dress up and you meet all the villains at Disneyland. It's a very popular event. We are in line. Alright. Okay. Now where are we going? Home. Home? Unless you want to grab lunch. Alright. You do need to eat. Okay, we'll, we'll do something. Okay. I am doing leftover homemade bean soup that my sister made for us. Thanks, sis. Cauliflower bean. Cauliflower bean soup. Something. It's delicious. Today is drain day, so we're scheduled to drain my lung every other day and that is decided on my symptoms. So basically I decide, and that was discussed with the pulmonologist. As you guys know, draining causes a lot of pain for me. So Kyle was thinking, let's try every third day. And I said, yeah, we'll see what my symptoms are and we'll try to do that. And so today is drain day. We we're planning to skip it and do tomorrow but I'm having a lot of discomfort and pain. So we're gonna keep it as every other day. We're gonna drain again today because I'm, it's not feeling good, so it's a bummer. I was hoping to get to every third day, but I'm glad I'm able to read the signs from my body and that they said to go with my symptoms and if it feels like training would cause some relief then we go with it and I think it would so we're gonna go with draining but I'm gonna try to nap first if that's okay yeah I'm gonna try to nap I have to tidy up around the house too he's gonna tidy up because we have possibly we're, we're gonna have company yeah I think um I'm gonna Map and then then we'll drain. Then, I'll then we'll up, drain. Then I'll pick up the kids. Then we'll pick up the kids. Okay, yeah. Good night. All right, guys. Kyle just started draining. Let's see how I am after this. All right. I'm done. It hurts. As you guys can see, it's not as bad as you've seen it in the past. 
think it's all the pain meds. So I'm so grateful for those. But I'm gonna sit back and try to get through this pain. I normally do the drainings. We normally do the drainings after, shortly after taking my newest dose of as needed pain medicine. And today I waited till I was almost due. So a while after my newest pain dose, pain as needed pain medication dose. And it was not a good idea because I started out with the pain worse and it's taking longer to catch up. So it's that playing catch with the, or I forget what we're playing, but we're playing something with the pain. Um, yeah, not a good idea, but it's still so much better than it was because of the pain meds, like the baseline pain meds. So it's still so much better but I kind of didn't do it right. Uh, it's okay. Okay, we're letting mom rest a little bit because she got drained, but we went to Target and got a few little surprises because why not? I want to watch. And Ellis got this new Lego set. Let's see it, buddy. Wow, looking and good. Can I tell? Yep. I Elephant stuffy and I got this El well set. Let me see. Wow. And these are because you guys got gift cards from your cousin Joel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so yeah. we went to Target after school or camp. And then you guys got these cool little prizes. Lucky. And then we're having pizza and ice cream floats later. And ice cream. And our pizza is on the way. As Ellis looks in his book and makes and sure he gets all the pieces. I only got cheese pizza. I only got cheese pizza, and Ellis got like olives and pineapple. Pineapple. Mmm. So all right, we got some floats. Mmm. What do we think? Yummy. The ice cream is kind of, and the drink is, the ice cream is very good. Makes it creamy, huh? It's creamy, like foaming, the ice cream. Here's Daddy's coloring, didn't finish. Mm -hmm. Winnie, can you show me your coloring that you were doing? Oh, what color? Oh, well, I can't find it. It's right there, baby. Just turn it. Ooh, beautiful. Mommy joined the party. She couldn't resist. So mommy's having a cactus Daddy, cooler float. Daddy, we have mommy mm. and Ellis and Winnie all the same, but mm. you don't. Ellis is feeling spunky. He had a little bit of sugar. And I'm feeling spunky too. I'm just eating more. Oh, okay. Very good. Wow, Ellis is doing okay. Ow. Yeah, doing well. <laughs> spunky. Why am I so spunky right now? He said. <laughs> Or you didn't eat anything. What are you doing? Oh, here comes Winnie. Spunky number two. Okay. <laughs> Winnie made her first little art project at school today. And it's her wearing a superhero cape that she colored. Let's see if I can show the back. She colored that, look at that. Superhero power. So cute. In true new current day Jenny, oops, it's the next day. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened yesterday. I stopped filming and I forgot. I think you picked up the camera a few times. Yeah. And so I thought, oh cool, Kyle's got it. And then I don't think you filmed much. No. No. Just a little bit of a kiss. So, oops, sorry about that, guys. Um, 
We are going to end today's video talking about our new, Kyle's new big purchase <laughs> that he is so proud of. Kyle, you want to tell us what this is? And you can go sit over there if you want. So this is Jenny's brand new portable oxygen concentrator. All right. So this is not an ad, and this was not <laughs> gifted, unfortunately. No, no. But it's very important because it will help me be able to live life and breathe. Yep. He laid out these little safety mats for it because he cares about it so much. It's like my new, my new convertible. Okay. So, so this is the, this is the small portal version of what's plugged in at our house all the time. Um, some of you brought this up and then your sister actually brought this up to look into getting a portable concentrator. You take it with you in this nifty little bag. It's five pounds with the big battery and like three and a half pounds with the smaller battery. It lasts 10 hours on the big battery and five hours on the small battery of portable oxygen. And I think the coolest feature is this one right here. It has a car adapter. So if you go on long trips to Oregon or like Oregon, you plug it in and you don't have to stress. And the oxygen tanks, although we were grateful for them, caused a lot of anxiety and stress. So we wanted to get this because it's already much easier. We already plugged it in, tried it out. Your oxygen was at a 99 or 100 with it, so we know it works. Your team was so nice and set it up for us on the phone. So now it's, it's ready to be used. So I love this. It's like Christmas, and I think it's gonna change your mindset of like maybe once you feel a little bit up to it, leaving the house and not being as afraid. Maybe we'll have to go on a date. Maybe we'll have to go on a date. <laughs> but I'm excited. Do we have anywhere to go soon? Hmm. 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 Uh -huh. No, we don't. But, oh yeah, we do. Where? Winnie's birthday is coming up soon. Winnie's birthday! So we'll probably do something it's for like that. like Michael, when he said mama's birthday. But I am so excited about this and I think you'll end up loving it. So, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, I love it. Thank you for everyone who suggested it. Thank you for my sister. And thank you for Kyle. And thank you for this company. I am so grateful. Oh, I, uh, I rode my e-bike this morning. To run an errand. And <laughs> run an errand. I rode my e-bike this morning. That was refreshing and fun. He loves it. I do. All right, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna figure out what's going on here with my lung. No one knows. I think we're back to every other day drainings. We'll see. All right. Love you guys. Bye.